hi guys this is ahobi one welcome to my youtube channel i'm a nigerian who is currently living in Bratislav, poland and i have been living here for 18 months so and on this channel i will be sharing videos about my experiences my life as a foreigner living in poland and as an international student navigating through the life here in poland so basically my experiences my journey my faith and all that good stuff that's what this space would be about so please stay tuned subscribe <laughs> Poland to do a master's degree and I've also gotten a lot of questions when I told people I was moving to Poland and they're like Poland because people from Nigeria don't not so many people move from Nigeria to Poland so when I told people I was going to Poland their first expression was always like why are you going to Poland so now these are my three reasons why I moved to Poland number one it was the fact that Poland the cost of living in Poland is very affordable and I wasn't about to leave my country to a place where I would be suffering. So Poland just fitted the right. Number two would be the fact that the school I was actually going to was coming to was a good like it had like a good rep. It had like a good rating. It was I paid I basically paid six thousand euros for my entire program. So this was okay and it was fair and it was affordable considering the, the kind of education that I was about to get. It was okay and then the third reason was i really did not want to go to a country that would put so much pressure on me after i graduate to like go back home or figure out the next part of my life and poland was going to offer me that opportunity like after graduation you have some time to get a job or figure out what it is so these three things were really important to me so when i picked poland i picked it for these three things so yeah that is why i moved to poland i think i've been living in poland for 18 months now I had moved to Poland sometime last year, so I'm just going to give you the gist about how I left Nigeria and I came to Poland. So basically, what happened was, as of 2018, I had decided to do a master's, so I went online and I was looking for schools and looking for countries where I could actually go to. A friend of mine recommended Poland and I was like, have you checked Poland? I'm like, Poland? Okay. I went online checked it i had prayed about it and i was okay with going to poland but now it was time to check out information about this place i wanted to go to so i had gone on google found out stuff about the academic system here and i finally picked the school that i eventually went to which is virtual university of science and technology so i i one thing i was skeptical about was the life here in poland so i went on youtube i went on like I just went everywhere and tried to find answers on what it felt like to live in Poland. So I had gone through a lot of videos as well and I actually really wanted people who had moved from Africa to Poland because I wanted to know what it was like being black here. It was something that was important to me because I just wanted to be sure where I was coming and I was... I just wanted to be sure what was going on in the place where I was coming. I had found out different things, but I just feel like the information I got wasn't entirely solid, but it was it was it was enough to make me to allow me make the decision to come. So I decided to come. I told my parents about it. We planned and everything was executed. I got my visa and it was time for me to leave Nigeria. So now I was very excited because I was leaving Nigeria finally. I was leaving Nigeria. <laughs> I was very excited but i thought about the fact that i was going to be leaving my family and all that but i was like okay this is for a good thing i'm going to school and all that this is for a good thing so i was more focused on being excited than being weighed down by what i would miss if i left nigeria packed my bags all excited and then i got on the plane and it was when it occurred to me that you're actually moving to a country where you know nobody I was able to coordinate myself. I slept through most of the flight and then we landed in Warsaw. Now, I couldn't get a flight directly to Wrocław because of the, the short time which I had to when I got my visa and I had to leave Nigeria. So I just got the, the quickest flight which was to come to Warsaw. And I was like, okay, when I get to Warsaw, I will figure out the going to Wrocław by train and everything. Because I had booked everything. I booked my hotel, 
and where I was going to stay when I get to Wrocław. So everything was pretty much sorted out in my head. Like I felt like I was in control because before then I had started to learn Polish, but on Duolingo, there is this app called Duolingo. So I had downloaded this app. So I was like learning Polish, but let me tell you, on Duolingo, they just introduce you to things. They don't necessarily teach you how to speak the language. So at least it taught me a few things, uh, greetings and all that. So got on the flight. On the flight, I had met this girl from Zimbabwe. So I was happy that, okay, we started to talk and she told me she was also coming to school, but she was going to a different city. We exchanged numbers and this was good. At least I had met one black person on my way here. So we got to the flight, uh, we got to the airport in Warsaw. I was so excited. And then I took a taxi. The taxi guy was nice enough to give me Wi-Fi. He gave me Wi-Fi connection. So I was able to connect. I called my family. I was like doing video calls. I was showing them the streets. I was just feeling like I have arrived here abroad. You get like, I was so excited. Oh my goodness. Little did I know what was coming ahead for me. We got to the flight. Sorry, we got to the train station and the driver stopped and he was like, okay, so this is where I'm stopping. So you have to proceed from here. The train station is over there. So you just go there and sort yourself out. I thanked him, but then I had 73 kg of luggage. Guys, my mother packed everything. Like I came to Poland as though I was coming to a place where there was no food. Like I had everything, name it. I had a goosey, I had beans, I had granuts, I had vegetables, I had gari. Like my bags were filled with so much stuff and I couldn't carry it. So I came out and this was me, as little as I am, standing in front of 73 kg worth of luggage. I then decided to just take a ton and I did like a 360 ton and I found out like there was no black person in sight. That was when it occurred to me that I was in a place where like I felt like a fish out of water and I was like this is an unfamiliar environment <laughs> like I was so like taken away by everything that was happening. Okay so prior to, prior to coming to Poland I, I lived in Nigeria all my life. I think I had taken a trip one time out of Nigeria but it wasn't it wasn't the same like here so when i looked around and i saw that everyone was different for myself i was like okay let's see how this one goes and then i noticed a lot of people were looking at me and i was wondering are you guys looking at me because of my luggage or you're looking at me because i'm the only one who looks like this here anyways of course it was because of my luggage because look at you you're standing beside 73 kg of bags who is going to carry this luggage with you i shall move the luggage i rolled myself into train station and that was when it hit me i was in poland like i looked at all the signs and everything was written in polish everything every sign was written in polish my brain started to like i didn't have wi-fi on my phone so there was no way for me to even start to do like translations and everything I finally saw Informatia, which in my head, it looked like information. So I went there, I stood on the queue, I got to the lady and I'm like, Jean Dobry, this was the first Polish I learned. That's good morning. And then she goes, Jean Dobry, and she asked me what I wanted in Polish, obviously. Now I know these things because yeah, now I understand, but then I didn't understand anything. And then she started to talk and I was like, uh, I, I want a train to Wrocław. So I was speaking in English because I felt she would understand but she was an elderly lady she was much older so i wanted train tickets to virtual and i didn't know the name i was still calling it roclaw because <laughs> roclaw is how it's spelled like if you're looking at it in english it's roclaw but then in polish you don't call it roclaw you have to call it virtual so i tried to coordinate myself and i said i want to train to roclaw and she's looking at me weird and i'm like um, I started to think, how do you pronounce it? And I said, Wrocław. And she, 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 she's like, yeah, yeah. She was still talking in Polish and was shaking her head. I tried to remember what, what is, what, what is, I don't speak, I don't speak Polish in, in Polish. I started to think. And then it occurred to me, yes, I remembered it. And I'm, I'm like, Pani, nie, nie mówi po, po, po <laughs> Like I was stammering. And then she goes, oh, oh, oh. She now points, she now, she, she then points me to a different direction to go there to find out whatever i start again i drag my bags to the other side of the 
of the train station i get there this man at the door and then the man helps me with my luggage because he, he he felt he felt pity for me he saw me with so much stuff and he decided to help me drag them to the side i got in i was able to talk to the lady i spoke with her in english still she was able to speak a little english but still not so clear and i was like okay that was when it occurred to me that <laughs> it's only polish that these people speak so be warm you have to level up and know how to speak <laughs> you have to speak polish so this lady asked me where i was going i didn't know what to say i brought out my phone because i had the information of where i was going to her so i showed her and then she gave me a ticket and told me to she wrote something on a piece of paper which read peron 3 and she told me to get here i should i should go here for the train and i'm like oh how do i i i didn't understand i didn't know where i was supposed to be going but i tried to follow the instructions like the different directions in the train station I was struggling with my bags oh for crying out loud i just wanted to throw those bags away like i wanted to throw those bags away i fi <laughs> i finally struggled with the bags and then there was this another elderly man who saw me struggling so much and he decided to help me and then he helped me all the way down to the period so i was still up i was struggling with my bag and trying to go down with the remaining bags as soon as i got to that platform the train had left see at that point i like i didn't know when i just busted into tears like i started crying <laughs> i started crying at the train station like i just started crying i couldn't hold it anymore like whoa whoa what's this like i've missed my train and, and the bags i was just crying but there was no one to lament to that was the painful part i saw there was this shop just beside i i moved my luggage there and I tried to ask, I saw it was a young girl, so I was like, okay, this one would probably speak English. And I'm like, hi. And she said, hey. And I'm like, can I drop my bags here? And she's like, I don't understand. So it now became another, another hustle of trying to explain to her what I wanted. And I was like, okay, I bought something from the store, so it doesn't look like I just came to drop, <laughs> to drop my bags there. So I bought something from the store, and I, and I was like, can and she was like okay okay i dropped the bag i ran back upstairs i met the lady and the lady was like oh you've missed the train obviously all these conversations were in polish so i was just using like my like common sense to understand what was going on so she wrote another ticket I, she paid I, like i had to add a little money and then we took a different ticket for the next ticket was scheduled for an hour 30 minutes so i had like one hour 30 minutes time to buy to be able to go back down from that parent and take all my luggage to the next parent because this was it wasn't even an adjacent parent the way it is you cannot even cross from one parent to the other you literally have to go back up and then go back down so i took my like i used the whole one hour 30 minutes to drag my bags like one after the other i was taking it up taking it down and i got to the other parent now when i got there the next thing that came to my mind was how exactly do i know where i'm supposed to enter the train like how do i know what what what's what where's my seat number where, where, where everything now became a problem for me like i couldn't understand anything i looked at that ticket and to be honest i could not understand anything i started to ask people excuse me do you speak english excuse me do you speak english? excuse me i just kept on asking different people do you speak english do you speak english and all of them every time i asked somebody everybody just kept on saying see i just sat down on my box and started to think about my life i was like okay at least i have a ticket anyone any if i enter any part of the wagons any of the wagons i enter when the the person who is checking for the ticket sees maybe the person would direct me in the right direction so it's fine i sat there and i was just thinking like that was when it occurred to me that what have you just done like you have just moved to a different country you don't know anybody you don't have internet you don't have a number you're just like I tried to coordinate my thoughts just there and then as i was thinking everything through and thinking how this was a bad idea for me to even leave nigeria and come to poland of all countries to come to a country where they don't speak english i saw this i looked up and i saw this black person i had never been so excited <laughs> i had never been so excited in my life to see a black person i got up and i was like hey hey 
I ran to this guy and I'm like, good afternoon. And, and he was like, yeah, I've seen you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're on the same train. We're on the same train. Sorry, we're on the same flight. We had met on the flight. So he was like, so what's your problem? I now try to, I like, I explained. I had never been so happy in my life to see a black person in my life. Like, I was so overjoyed. I explained everything to him. And he was like, he, him is also just moving in. But the good thing was he was with his wife who who was already in Poland, like she had lived here for some time. So they were now able to, both of them were able to now tell me, okay, uh, when the train comes, this is, this is your seat number, this is your this, and this is your that. Ah! Now looking back at it, it's funny. Like every time I have to tell this story, I laugh at myself. But I was the girl who was standing at the train station crying. <laughs> I was a girl who was sitting at the train station crying. So I have, if I if I have any advice to give, my advice would be, if you're going to any European country, anyone, any European country, I suggest you know someone who is going to do like an airport pickup for you because <laughs> you don't want to be in the situation I was in. Like I was stranded. Like it just went on and on. Like that whole day was just frustrating because even when I got on the train. I didn't even know where I was supposed to stop because this train was not going, like the last destination of this train was not in my city. It was going past my city. So what that meant was I wasn't even allowed to sleep and forget myself. And then I, I, I didn't know anything. Like I just, I was just completely lost. But anyways, looking back at it, it's actually funny. And I decided to share it with you guys. Uh, this is the time where I tell you to subscribe to my channel share this content with someone you don't know who might be coming to poland who needs to hear this <laughs> write down in the comments below what you think i'd like to hear from you and please like this video share subscribe yeah so in my next videos i would be taking you along with me to see different cities in poland and just sharing my experiences basically the lessons the struggles and everything so please do stay tuned and see you in the next one